Hey everybody and welcome back to the Plant Stock channel. My name is Jesse, if we haven't met yet. Tonight we have some news items from Eat Beyond. First, we're going to focus on their portfolio company, Nabati, that's about to IPO soon and it's actually gotten some really good news. And then we're actually also going to focus on a new index, a plant-based index, the VegTech, that actually Eat Beyond is going to be a part of and what that actually means for Eat Beyond, but also what is VegTech. So that's what we're going to focus on tonight. And I'll obviously, as always, going to give you some thoughts on this. And as always, folks, I would truly appreciate an early thumbs up since it does really help spread this channel to more people out there. And if you want to keep getting information regarding Eat Beyond and other plant-based stocks and companies, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget that bell button, right? And as always, truly appreciate your help here. And if we just take a quick look at the stock chart for Eat Beyond, ticker symbol EAT, uh, we can see that they have, as we talked about before, had a pretty rough month, and we know why. We've been waiting for the stimulus package. Uh, people are worried about what's going on in the market overall. But also today, yeah, it's minus 6.5%. It's pretty high. But when it comes to most disruptive companies and especially plant-based companies, most of them are actually showing quite high right now. So again, it's an unstable market as we know. And if we begin with the first news item regarding Eat Beyond, Eat Beyond portfolio company Nabati raises $7.7 .7 million. And uh, as you know, Nabati is about to IPO. And their intention from the beginning was to raise about $4 million, but due to tremendous demand has increased this to $7.7 .7 million. And that is really impressive gains, right? Quote, the net proceeds will be used to fund the Nabati proposed go public transaction, as well as for business development, working capital, plant expansion, and to purchase equipment to expand production capacity and develop new product lines. And for you who are new to the channel and haven't heard me talk about this company before, the, they currently offer three plant-based product lines, including dairy-free cheesecake, cheese alternatives, and plant-based meats. Uh, and they also have a form of whole foods approach if we compare them a little to the very good food company. But at the moment, the only whole foods approach I can see uh, with their products is actually their cheesecake, which is impressive enough. And this is what CEO Patrick Morris had to say about this. Quote, once the financing was announced for Nobody, the company received thousands of inquiries from interested parties looking to invest. This new capital can help to catapult Nobody to the next level by enabling the company to expand its production capacity to meet the ever-growing demand for its products. EPL looks forward to working closely with Nobody to support their innovation, growth, and expansion. And Nabati's own CEO, Ahmad Yeya, has this to say, quote, Nabati has seen unprecedented growth over the past year, despite the uncertainty consumers are facing due to Rony Rona. We designed our products and mix of distribution channels to be able to weather economic challenges, and we are now seeing the fruits of that labor. So guys, this is obviously good news if you're an investor in Eat Beyond or that you were actually part of the pre-investing when it comes to the body. I mean, if this shows anything, it is that this plant-based food market sector is a hot trend right now, right? I mean, instead of just getting $4 million, which they were hoping for to begin with, they got almost a double, right? That's amazing. And this is really good because they're really gonna need that money when it comes to different kinds of expansions in the company, right? But also considering after an IPO, a lot of companies are usually showing a lot of minus uh, because the IPO whole process is really grueling. It usually takes about four to six months. The different legal fees and all the money that these investment banks are going to have. So it is a, a problem. So with this extra money, that's going to really help them along the way here, right? And I feel that this is really promising. It does seem like people are really into this company. I have heard some Canadian subscribers talking about that this product, their products are really good. And they seem really excited about the company. And even though it's small, it seems to 
have a loyal following already considering that they got the double amount of money they were asking for right so i'm hoping that will be part of the journey that people keep investing and helping this company expand now although we don't know much about the company since it's privately held as of yet right it's soon going to be public uh but i feel we probably don't have to be that worried about it considering eat beyond uh it's their portfolio company and they've been part of helping them with this ipo helping them with different strategies. And as we talked about the, the due diligence process that the, the team at Eat Beyond offers, uh, it's better than most could ask for, right? So that actually tells us that we could just relax. They must know what they're doing, right? They wouldn't be investing them. They wouldn't be wasting their time otherwise if they didn't believe in them. So, so in that way, I actually feel better about it if I was invested in Nabati or investing in Eat Beyond. And like I stated before, usually it takes up to four to six months before the company IPOs. And I'm not sure where we'll start counting this from, if it's from now or if it's like one or two months ago, but I'll keep you updated regarding the company. So not to worry. And if we move on to the next item here, it is a couple of days old. Uh, Eat Beyond is one of 21 companies selected for the VegTech Index, right? And we're going to talk more about what that is, but it is actually the first index of its kind and includes leading publicly traded plant-based companies. And the goal is to provide a fiscal scoreboard using market cap weighted performance to show the overall financial health and strength for the sector. And this is really interesting in itself. So most of you might be aware what an index fund is uh, using F the S&P 500 as a clear example, right? They're investing in 500 companies, uh, the most profitable companies anyways, American companies. And as an investor, you could go in there and invest in the whole fund and you'll get exposure to all of these companies. So they're going after like a plant-based vegan version of this, right? with only 21 companies at this moment, but it's still very interesting. And this is what Patrick Morris had to say about this quote, Eat Beyond is thrilled to be one of just 21 companies globally to be part of this new index. There is plenty of evidence among investors and consumers that the plant-based industry is growing, but by offering consolidated financial data, this index will be a powerful new measure of the full weight impact and potential of the plant-based and food tech sector and he continues on by stating investors can always look at the dow jones or nasdaq for a look at general market numbers and average for major companies but this new index is a great opportunity for investors and analysts to be able to access a snapshot of the growing plant-based and alternative food market specifically now, if we take a look at who actually created this index or came up with the idea it is elizabeth Alfano and a person named Sasha Goodman that also had this idea and they kind of worked on that together. And this is the result. Uh, she has a small YouTube channel here uh, where, where she does actually talk to a lot of uh, disruptive people, a lot of people who are a little larger in the plant-based sector. I've seen some very interesting interviews here. And if we take a look at the page, for this yeah, future index, it seems to in exist already, right? But my understanding is that this is only a beta version as of yet. We'll talk more about what that probably means. But when they started, not long ago, it started at 1000, the index started at 1000, it's currently in beta, right? In January, 2021, it was up to 1232, that's 23%. In February, 1312, that is another 6.47%. So it's doing well already, right? And what companies are included in, in this, right? Like I said, it's only 21 companies at the moment. And here we can see them. Uh, and if we take a look, it's Beyond Meat, it's Tesla, it's Next Meat and Laird Superfood. We have several, several different companies here, Tofuti, we actually have that company in Sweden. I'm not, it's not a Swedish company. We have their products here. Elf, I'm sure a lot of you know about if you've been watching Jeremy. Uh, and then we have Else Nutrition, 
obviously now eat beyond global they're very good butchers very my berry right and then we have Burkon, plant x and agronomics among others and what i have actually find interesting is that they actually have two swedish companies since that gen uh, uh which is on nasdaq stockholm and then simris Al, which is an algae based company, which is actually not that far from where I live about, I think it's about 30 or 40 kilometers from where I live actually. So that is also very interesting. I've read up a little about this company. They have some Israeli companies too, and uh, an UK based one and German ones here. So uh, very interesting here. And as you might have noticed here, uh this index for now anyways is not only about pure vegan companies i mean it's depending on what you mean with vegan right uh, vegan in itself isn't actually doesn't have to do with what you eat only right uh it has to do with a being a lifestyle that you do everything you can to prevent harming animals or people for that matter meaning then that uh we have like a car company like tesla and i remember talking about that uh, not long ago and we have elf which is basically it actually does say everything you need to know here if we take a look at elf it has to do with that is an american cosmetics company items include bath and skincare products mineral based makeup professional tools eyeliners and the list goes on all items are vegan and cruelty free which is the whole point here right so if we take a look at the criteria here, right? The company needs to be working intentionally or not towards making animal free advancements in their products offerings. This typically means they offer an alternative within an industry that uses a lot of animal products. And the second criteria here, the company as a whole, not just one of its brands cannot be involved in producing animal meat, animal dairy, animal testing, unless subjected by law farm animal feed products or the significant displacement of wildlife so obviously i'm guessing some of you might be thinking wow how can i start investing in this fund or this index fund uh, and as far as i know you can't at this very moment because it is a beta version right uh, and uh, that this is their ticker symbol v e g t uh, but if you go into uh, yahoo finance you uh, you can't find them as a, a ticker symbol, but you can find information about them. So, uh, and I did a quick search during the day and I couldn't find anywhere where it stood that you could actually invest in them at the moment. But as it is a beta version, I do expect that's gonna happen soon. So what are my final thoughts on this? Well, I actually find it's really interesting for Beyond Meat's part here. I think this is actually really good uh they get a lot of exposure from different areas right now but being part of this means that they'll get even more exposure right and it might not be that much because it seems quite small at the moment we can't even invest money into them but i do suspect that it's going to grow more and more uh and just imagine even if you can invest in the moment i mean i do see a lot of potential here i mean in the future there are 21 companies right now it doesn't sound that much but let's say that it does expand more and more and it does become larger right uh and the ones who there are plenty of people out there who do want to invest in different kinds of index funds right like the classic is for most people who aren't that interested in investing in stocks on their own or don't have the time the experience or the patience then investing in a fund makes perfect sense for them right so they do the classical thing they'll invest in the s p 500 keep investing maybe every month or so or a couple of times a year and then they usually get an average of eight percent growth per year that's traditional over the last 30 or 40 years when it comes to s p 500 and i think a lot of these larger uh indexes and that's fine right and i'm thinking that people are getting more and more interested not only in the plant-based space but in ethical investing right so i'm thinking this index fund will be perfect for that in the future right so people might feel the same way here again they don't have time for the due diligence right 
uh, they just want to invest something that will make them money, but they want to feel good about it. They want to be able to sleep at night, right? So investing in this fund then would help them achieve that. And what I find interesting here, like, yeah, the S&P 500, yeah, the average is about 8% per year. Uh, but considering what they're going after here in this company, the, the, these are disruptive companies, right? Uh, we're going to see a lot more growth in the future ahead, right? Meaning that I do expect them to have higher than just 8% per year. I mean, you could already see here that they were up, what was it? Around 23% in general and then 6%. But that's way higher together than just 8%, right? So I don't know how interested you are and me keeping you up to date regarding Vectech and when it's possible to start investing in them and, you know, to follow their journey. Uh, if you are, guys, let me know down in the comments so I know that I should keep giving you information about that. All right. So, folks, that was it for today. I truly hope you got some value from today's video. And if you did, as always, smash that like button. And if you want to keep getting more information, like about Vectech or other plant-based companies, make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button. And just a quick reminder, people, I am not a financial advisor. These are just my own thoughts and opinions. It's important to do your own due diligence and invest safe. Hope to see you soon. Peace out.